Action. So we got to sync it later. Okay. So you got KCFA uh, 14, January 31st at Truman Memorial. You face Jeremy Small. How's training been going leading up to that fight? Uh, training's been going wonderful. Uh, I've made a lot of leaps and bounds, like mentally, physically, and spiritually. Uh, I switched up a lot of my gyms. I didn't switch them up. I just added gyms into the regiment, which helped out a lot. Um, I also go to Glory now, so it helps out a lot too. Um, it's been really good. No injuries, nothing crazy, nothing too strenuous, stressful. And then, uh, obviously, like you said, you train with Glory, but you're here at right. KCBJJ. How do you, you know? How do you juggle training at all these different gyms? Uh, it's difficult. I have to make a lot of time. I have to plan out a lot of stuff. Um, I don't make it to like most people train jujitsu you know, five or six times a week. I train, you know, MMA here, wrestling one day, jiu-jitsu one day, MMA twice a week. I'm just, I drive a lot back and forth to different gyms, whenever I can make it. Train, you know, I train six days a week, usually twice a day, once a day, whatever I can do, whatever my body allows me to do. So. And then uh, watching a lot of your fights, you're a very powerful hitter. Right. Uh, I've talked to some of your training partners. They complain about getting kicked in the leg really hard. They ask <laughs> But looking at the fights that you've won, you won by submission wins. Uh, is that part of your strategy in terms of hitting them and then going for takedowns, or is it? Do you find themselves freaking? You find your opponents freaking out after they get hit and going sloppy with takedowns. Uh, it's usually it's usually the second part. Most most of my wins are by submission. Um, all the ones that I have are like at the end of the fight. I end up punching him. They take sloppy takedowns. Uh, I fought an Oklahoma wrestler who I punched him in the face, and he went straight for a takedown. We just ended up grappling the whole time. Uh, I ended up submitting him in the round one. Rome Lindsay did the same thing, and he was supposed to have heavy hands, knock me out, all that stuff. But once I hit him, he took a sloppy shot, and we just ended up going on the ground. And I train here with all these killers, you know. <laughs> I train with a bunch of wrestlers, so I know what I'm doing when I'm on the ground. And I feel really confident, so I'm okay wherever the fight goes. It's just, that's just the way the fight went, so I took it there. And that, that kind of series of events seems to play into this next match because you got Jeremy Smalls. He likes to throw really wide hooking kind of punches and set up his clinch off of those, either the clinch or the, the, the double leg he likes to hit. Right. Uh, how do you see, you see yourself shutting down either his takedown or his clinch? Uh, trying the same concept. I mean, I know I know. once I put my hands on him, he's going to take that sloppy shot. He's going to make mistakes. I like working on my range and keeping far away from him. So when he does take those sloppy shots, I can react and you know use it to my advantage. So I feel like the first round he's just he's, he's going to be a little bit timid. Take stupid, sloppy shots, and I'll just capitalize on that when I can. And then rolling with you, you have a really like tenacious uh, kind of game. Very much, you feel like a wrestler, but you've never wrestled right. before uh, MMA training and jiu-jitsu training, correct? No, I did not. Do you get that a lot? People asking you if you've wrestled before? I do, actually. Uh, most of the jiu-jitsu tournaments and stuff I've went to, they asked me if I wrestled. Um, I never wrestled in high school. I didn't wrestle before that. I just started wrestling when I got into MMA. Where do you think that, tena that tenacity comes from, that kind of like always lunging at people and going for, for that takedown? Where do you think that stems from? Uh, genetics. Gen <laughs> My parents are great now. Um, I don't know. It's just the way I've always been. I've always, I was always taught since day one to break your opponent's will and never back down. So, I mean, it's just wrestling kind of worked into my athleticism and it worked into the, the tenacity of how, how I like to fight. I like to, you know bully people around and that wrestling helps out a lot yeah definitely and then uh, presuming everything goes well with this fight how soon would you like to get back into the cage for another one uh whenever i'll talk <laughs> to joe Wooster about that I, it doesn't matter to me um this year i'd like to get six or seven fights whenever i can Jeez. if i can get them if i can get it back to back in a month um, depending on if i'm healthy or not that's really all that matters so i'd like to fight every month every other month if i can awesome i got a lot of ground to make up this year since last year we're going to well as I wanted to be. So how many did you get in last year? Three. Three. Yeah, three. It's not too bad. It's not what I wanted, <laughs> but it is what it is. Okay, and uh, before we wrap up here, is there anybody you want to mention or thank? I'd like to thank uh, everybody. Everybody, KCBJ, Mr. Jason Bercher, that guy over there. Uh, everybody at HD MMA who's helped me out so much. Uh, everybody at Glory, it's a phenomenal gym to go to. James Krause has reached out personally to help me out which I can thank him so much. Um, parents, girlfriend, who puts up with all the training till 10 o'clock at night every night. Uh, everybody along the way has helped me. I appreciate it so much. Cool. Thank you very much. That's a wrap.